In this video, we're going to talk about simple interest. So let's illustrate what is a simple interest. So suppose you borrow $100 from a friend and the friend charges you an interest rate of, uh, let's say, 3%. So your R is 3%. So after one year period of time, you have to lend back how much you borrowed with the interest. So you'll pay back $100 plus the interest on $100. So $100 times 0 0.03. And that's how much you're going to pay back after one year. So if I multiply 100 times 0 0.03, that come out to be $3 in interest. So after one year, you're going to pay back $100 and three dollars to your friend that's for a one year period now let's say you keep the money for another year so let's say you you loan it for one hundred dollar but now you are borrowing it for two years so that means we're going to add another three dollar to the original amount so you'll have one hundred dollars times another interest so that will be for the second year so that means in total, we're going to pay back the initial amount, 100, plus the interest from the first year, plus the interest from the second year. So in total, you're going to pay back $106 in two years period of time. Well, so what's really happening here is, let's bring in some notation. So let's suppose P we stand for a, um, initial principal amount. The amount you borrow or you uh, start with and let R represent the interest rate. And let T stand for time in years. Okay. So we're starting with some initial amount P, and then well, let's say after one year, we, we have interest rate R on that amount P, so that'll be P times R. That's for the first year. Now for the second year, you add another interest to the original amount, so that's P times R again, and so forth, for a third year, fourth year, and so forth. So if we, think about this, what's really happening is you're still with some original amount plus the original amount interest on that and over some time T. So in reality, that's the formula for simple interest. So the amount after some time T, it's going to be the initial amount times the interest on the initial amount over time T. So you can think about it as this is how much you're going to pay the interest, the big I interest over time, over time T. And this is your original amount. So P of T will be the amount after some time T. Now let's dive into our first example. So let's take a look at this problem. So we want to find the total amount due on a loan of $600 at an interest rate of 16% at the end of three years. So this is a simple interest problem. So we know that this is your principal amount. That's the amount you start with. That's the loan you take. And this is the interest rate and you're paying off loan after three years. So we know the principal amount is $600 at an interest rate of 16%, which is 0.16 in decimal. And we want to calculate how much you owe after three years. So the amount P of three, it's going to be determined by this formula P times one plus R times T. So, from the previous formula, I just factored out the P, so it's really P plus P R T, where this is your interest and you add it to the original amount to get how much you will pay overall, the new amount. 
so let's let's go ahead and plug this in so the amount after three years it's going to be 600 plus 600 times the interest rate 0.16 times three years and this happens to be 288 dollars in interest so you add that to your original amount and that will give you how much you'll pay after three years so altogether we're going to have 888 dollars so after three years you're going to pay back 888 dollars so here is another problem let's say troy deposited 400 dollars into his saving account so we are starting with p to be 400 dollars how much interest so we want to know how much interest will he receive at the end of one year if the interest rate is three percent so here we're just calculating how much interest he's going to receive after one year we don't need to find out how much in total but we can afterwards right so we know the formula the amount at any time t is p plus p times the interest times time so we just want to figure out what this is that's the interest the the big i so we know that we can calculate the interest after one year period by simply using uh, p times r times t so well we know that he deposited four hundred dollars so that's 400 for p times the rate that is three percent which is 0 0.03 in decimal and is only keeping it for one year so t is one if you multiply these numbers you're going to get twelve dollars so the interest he's going to earn after one year is only twelve dollars how much money will he earn so if I want to know how much he will have in his account after one year, pretty much you you use this formula. You add the interest to the principal amount, you'll get the amount after one year. So the amount, let's take a little further and we just answer that problem as well. So the amount after one year, it's going to be his initial amount 400 plus the interest of $12. So he's going to have $412 after one year okay. all right so here's our last example so suppose you are starting your own business in Barry you borrow ten thousand dollars from the bank at an interest rate of nine percent for five years all right so first thing you want to do is calculate the interest rate so we're going to calculate the interest rate so we know the amount after some time t is p the principal amount plus p times r times t the first thing you want to do is calculate this one because that's the interest you're going to earn after certain years so in this case we have our p is ten thousand dollars and our interest rate is 9%, so that's 0 0.09. And the time you're borrowing it for is five years. So the interest you're going to earn is determined by P times R times T. So that will be the principal amount, $10,000, times the rate, 0 0.09, times time, which is five. So we're going to do 10,000 times the interest rate 0 0.09 times 5 and that will give us the interest rate of about uh, $4,500 so you're going to pay an interest $4,500 after five years now how much money do you have to pay to the bank at the end of five years so that's the amount you add this to the original amount so we know the amount you're going to pay after five years it's the initial amount ten thousand plus the interest we just computed previously that's that's four thousand five hundred dollars and altogether you're going to pay ten thousand plus 
$4,500. So that's about $14,500. That's how much you're going to pay after five years. All right, so I, I hope this simple interest problem makes sense to you. I'll see you all next time.